Top 10 things you did not know about collagen. Number one, structural protein. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the human body and the major component of connective tissues. It provides strength and structure to various body parts, including skin, bones, tendons, and ligaments. There are various types of collagen. Up to 28 have been identified in the body already, and the common ones are one, two, and three. Number three, skin elasticity. Basically, what keeps you from having wrinkles and from your body sagging and all those things is collagen production, which decreases with age. Number four, joint health. Collagen is essential for joint health. It helps maintain the integrity of cartilage, which is the cushion between the joints so they don't rub together. So if you've got knee pain, it's probably because you don't have enough cartilage keeping that cushion going. So some studies suggest that collagen supplementation may reduce the joint pain and improve flexibility. Number five, just to, so you know that I'm being fair about this, natural food sources. While collagen supplements are popular and you can get them from me at supermikesupplements.com, you can also boost collagen production through dietary sources. Foods like bone broth, fish, chicken, and egg whites are rich in collagen or it's building blocks. Number six, this is gonna be very important for you guys, drum roll and everything. Vitamin C connection. As I've mentioned in a couple other videos, which one of them may be linked above my head at some point, vitamin C is crucial for collagen synthesis. It helps convert the amino acids, proline and lysine into collagen, emphasizing the importance of a balanced diet for collagen production. And basically we talked about when on the vitamin C video that it is water soluble, meaning that you need to take more each day because it doesn't get stored in the body, doesn't get stored in the fat cells because it is water soluble but that doesn't mean that you have to buy vitamin C from me. You can do any of the foods in that other video that talk about how you can get vitamin C, but also you can get it from me. It's in the elderberry supplement or the multivitamin. Each of those have vitamin C in them and can get you just as much as you need per day, but you need vitamin C to make collagen and use it. So that's gonna be very important. Make sure you remember the vitamin C connection. Number seven, hair and nails. Collagen contributes to the health and strength of hair and nails. Some people claim that collagen supplements can promote hair and nail growth, although more research is needed. And definitely it didn't help with the hair. Number eight, wound healing. So if you're diabetic and you wound easily or have trouble healing from wounds, this may be very important for you. Collagen is involved in the wound healing process. It forms a scaffold of tissue and creates new tissue growth, helping wounds to heal faster, which is a way of saying that collagen is very important for wound healing. And then the vitamin C that makes the collagen work is also very important for wound healing. So that is going to be important. Number nine, digestive health. Collagen contains amino acid glycine, which is known to support digestive health. It may help strengthen the lining of the gastrointestinal tract and prevent leaky gut syndrome. Number 10, vegan alternatives. So in case you're not sure about how you're going to get this, if you happen to be vegan, this is an important one for you as well. Collagen is primarily sourced from animal products, all the things that I mentioned before about bone broth and fish and whatever, but there are vegan alternatives. Plant-based collagen supplements offer um, amino acids, vitamins, and minerals that support the body's natural production of collagen. Over here at supermikesupplements.com, you can see the various forms of collagen that you can get. There's some gummies, grass-fed collagen peptides over here, grass-fed uh, creamer, and so grass-fed, again, grass-fed. Those are all going to be ones that are available for you, but none of these are the vegan alternatives that I was just talking about. These are all animals that were grass-fed. You can, of course, use vitamin C as a supplement that can help produce collagen. But what you'll need if you are a vegan person, you'll need to make sure that you get more amino acids into your diet. You may try silica supplements, S-I-L-I-C-A, silica supplements. Some are made from horsetail and some are made from bamboo. So obviously, if you're vegan, you want to do the bamboo version instead of horsetail. And then, of course, there's some other ones here, some foods that might help you if you are vegan trying to get this done. Then you might try beans, lentils, quinoa, or quinoa. You'll probably correct me in the comments. And tofu. Uh, vitamin E supplements can help. Zinc supplements, which are available at my store. Biotin supplements, which again is available at my store. There's all kinds of places that you can get those type of vitamins as well. So those are the things that are gonna help you with collagen production, which you need for healthy uh, bones, 
tendons, ligaments, healthy skin, uh, and, and the bones really just the connective part of the bone more than the bones themselves. But still, if you want to be healthy, you want to keep your structure, you want to be standing or homo erectus, which just means man standing up, get your mind out of the gutter. Alrighty, so if you want to stand upright for the rest of your life, then you're going to want to make sure that you take care of your tendons and ligaments. And one of the ways you can do that is making sure that you get either collagen supplements or collagen through diet. Um, and then, of course, you can also try the vegan alternatives. Again, not available at my store, but I'm just letting you know that they are out there. Um, and maybe they will be someday So at my store. All right, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, go ahead and click that like button to tell me so. And of course, down in the comments, correct my saying of quinoa, quinoa, quinoa. Oh, I never would have guessed that in a thousand years, but I did look it up since I figured I'd said it a few times. Hopefully you've laughed at my trying to say quinoa a few times here. I know I'm laughing now, but I certainly wasn't then. So while you're down there clicking the like button, or if you're laughing too hard, click the like button in a minute when you catch your breath. But then after that, don't forget to click that subscribe button. It really does help the channel out so I can find more people to educate and entertain so that you can laugh at my not even be able to say a very English word as opposed to, you can also hear me mispronounce a lot of Latin words on this channel, but if you want to hear any of those mispronunciations, or if you just want to find the information so that you can live longer and put more life into those years, which is what the laughter could be about, putting more life into those years, if you want to do either of those things, that's what this channel is all about. I want to see you live longer. I want to see you live happier, and I want you to enjoy the life that you're living. So if you like any of those concepts, click the subscribe button for more videos like this one here.